Welcome back to our video series on what to expect when buying a home. Hi, I'm Heather Wright, your host of this amazing video series. And I'm also a real estate agent. That's my primary job. Doing videos is really nothing at all. I get no credit for it. But I am a real estate agent in Des Moines at Remax Concepts. And I put this series together thinking that it would be helpful for people who want to familiarize themselves with the process of buying a house and what to expect at every stage. And there's, you know, real estate agents, we like to talk about the fun stuff about looking at houses and, oh, new year, new address, things like that. But the fact is there's a lot of things that happen after you're under contract. And so while this may not be as wildly exciting as I had hoped, it is still very informative and um, necessary. So in this video, we're going to be talking homeowners insurance. Now, I don't really understand insurance. Insurance has kind of another language. I remember when I was a child, my mom studied for an insurance exam and I didn't know it at the time, but now I know how impressed I should be for her passing her insurance exam because it is difficult. I'm telling you, it's like another language. It is difficult stuff. But while I don't have my degree in insurance, I have a insurance guy that I recommend that I happily will pass on to you. That's actually included in the next steps email that I'll send to you once you're under contract. But regardless of who you use for homeowner's insurance, it is always a good idea to have insurance. Even though I also kind of think that insurance is a total racket, your house is pretty expensive. And so it's one of those better safe than sorry things, especially with the cost of everything going up so much in just the last few years. It used to be, we could estimate that your homeowner's insurance would be about $1,000 a year. Well, now a better estimate is about $2,000 a year. And hopefully that's conservative on the high side, but it's important to figure out in our budget what to plan for. And of course, the more expensive your house, the more expensive your insurance. And if you're getting a loan, your bank is probably going to require you to carry homeowner's insurance. Now you can talk to your insurance agent and your lender just to see like if there are certain minimums that you're required to have. I think because of how complicated insurance can be, I trust my agent to give me the right recommendations for what we need. And that's that. So I know that when we had a hailstorm in 2019, we had hail damage on our roof and we paid our thousand dollar deductible and we got a new roof. Like the insurance company paid for the replacement of the roof. They do make you jump through several hoops. Like they nothing is free. And while it feels like you got a free roof, you paid your deductible and you paid with your time trying to understand what the heck was going on and dealing with the insurance adjuster and filing claims and all kinds of things. So homeowner's insurance is going to protect you from fire, from lightning, from acts of God, like windstorm or, you know, in Iowa, we have tornadoes. A few years ago, we had a derecho and actually my neighbor's house, I could see from my window, there was a tree on top of her roof, like crunched her roof and her insurance covered the repair repair and replacement. I think the removal of the tree, the repair of the roof, which it needed some repair, but then it all got replaced. And then it also covered for inside of the house damage. So that would have been devastating. Not many people have enough in savings to take care of all of those things. I think it was like $50,000 of damage. She's going to watch this video and say, thanks a lot, Heather, for telling everybody my business. Sorry, but that's a really good example of when it's good to have insurance. So not wildly exciting, I know, but a necessary evil, at least today it is. Now, if you're paying for your house in cash, I don't think that there's a requirement to have homeowner's insurance, but it's not a bad idea because if a tornado came through and wiped out your house, you'd be out that cash. So, you know, while there are many things I disagree with about the insurance industry, my recommendation is to have homeowner's insurance for sure. 
Now, if you are getting a loan, you'll work with your insurance agent to have your insurance all set up. And then they're going to send that information back to your lender and make sure that that's paid for on your settlement statement. So generally you don't have to pay for your year of insurance for your homeowner's insurance out of pocket. It'll be paid at closing and that just, it's part of your closing costs. So you still have to pay for it, but it's just not a separate check. It's included in that one lump sum for the amount that you bring to the closing table. So hopefully I have given you a good overview of homeowner's insurance and not thoroughly confused you because it is thoroughly confusing subject. And I know enough to be dangerous about it, but as a necessary evil in the home buying process, I thought it was important to include. And it is one of the last steps you have to take before we get to closing. So next up, Everything else to get to closing is on the docket.